Brother India Mobile Congress, I am joined by Mr. Anku Jain from Meta Tech. Thank you so much for joining us, Anku. First question, of course, you know the Prime Minister, you know, really leading the charge for you know AI, 5G, especially mentioning that you know while at a time India was not being able to think about 2G, every village in India is now 5G enabled. Uh, you know, very strong statement uh, about the future as well and 5G revolution in India as well. What do you take away from the key from Prime Minister's speech? I think the key point uh, which I already mentioned is about uh, 5G itself. I think. Uh, now india can be a proud country because 5g has been uh, penetrated in every uh, you know uh, part of the uh, of the country i think that's uh, very very important for the india demographics because being connected is uh, kind of empowering the population and i think uh, that really shows uh, the kind of progress we have made in several years so for 5g still of course we also talk about 6g uh, i think 6g is something where india wants to be a front runner uh, 5g we were still a bit delayed although the rollout was very rapid uh, but uh, 6g will be another uh, ball game so I think the things are looking very very good so yeah. uh, you know uh, the government has been uh, mentioning a very long very long period of time about uh, you know very strict deadlines of implementing 60 uh, where are we at 60 in real terms sir and uh, how is media tech also contributing to its part when it comes to 60 so 60 is uh, to be honest is still in early days because uh, of course media tech has been working on the 60 standard for the last several years so it it takes uh, it takes maybe you know a uh, long time many many years for a technology to be fructified you know uh, it takes a long time and uh, we are still looking at uh, maybe about 2030 time frame when the 6g will be actually deployed uh, so it's long way to go but uh, but media tech has been working on this for several years and we have had several white papers uh, published on 6g so it's a, it's a long haul uh, it takes many years to make it happen uh, but uh, of course looking at uh, the kind of excitement we see in india i think it's a very promising thing for us what uh, what kind of uh, you know numbers do you see as far as 5g goes uh, are we 100% converted into 5g every smartphone in india every user has a 5g or probably we are still lagging to 3g to 4g at some areas which needs to be converted to 5g before in the india takes the ultimate leap to 6g uh, so i think 5g has been making uh, rapid strides in the last few years in fact uh, even before the rollout happened 5g handsets are already available uh, if you remember and uh, so that shows uh, that uh, a lot of uh, big appetite for the consumers to have 5g phones and of course they know that uh, that is something that can they are protected for the future and uh, but still we have 4g uh, which is there uh, many parts of the country have uh, 4g uh, you know uh, available and uh, 5g still to be happening there uh, but uh, uh, but also the 4g handsets are slightly lower cost as compared to 5g so it does cater to some parts of demographic uh, demography in india so i think both are existing but uh, 5g percentage is increasing day by day and so, also uh, yeah and also you know uh, with rapid strides that the india is taking with artificial intelligence now yeah. Uh, what is media tech doing in ai uh, if i could we could give some more pointers and what is the future that we see in the recent times to come with india you know probably leaping towards its own smart uh, you know perplexity or probably a chat gpt do you think that's a possibility in the domain in india and what is you what are you doing in uh, ai as far as in so if i see uh, maybe i can talk about the latest uh, chipset which got launched uh, which is dimensity 9500 now that has its own uh, you know uh, next level of ai so it is uh, you know we have uh, if you see our uh, then this generation compared to last generation uh, our apu our npu our uh, gpu and cpu uh, all the three are actually uh, much better than last uh, last generation so uh, the computing power is uh, phenomenal and uh, this is helping uh, the end user to have uh, of course gaming is one uh, one feature which is uh, next level it is uh, almost giving console it is giving actually console level uh, gaming for the end user you have a very good experience user experience but for ai i think uh, it is uh, you know the agentic ai uh, is something which you can see on the back itself right so that is something which is uh, at again uh, very very uh, uh, you know very efficient and uh, we can have many more ai applications running on the phone on the edge uh, in a very efficient manner so right. so now you know if you see uh, the ai uh, you know generative ai and agentic ai has taken the world by storm so it is something which the end user expect and uh, that's the reason that we have actually enhanced the you know the, this aspect in the in the phone and uh, what your other question about having our own home grown uh, perplexity or uh, such companies i think uh, it is uh, possible now because if you see uh, last 15 20 years the vc uh, ecosystem has really developed quite quite, uh, quite well so there are more and more funding available for the startups uh, to happen and i think today also uh, uh, prime minister modi mentioned about startups that's a big uh, requirement for the country you know and uh, for the nation building itself so uh, for the startups uh, i think we will sooner or later look at some big uh, companies coming up from india we are already seeing many which are uh, doing well and i think 
uh, the scale is there and uh, I'm very confident that it will happen. And so uh, lastly, we see a lot of trade issues coming up with the US and UK as well. Uh, is India's, uh, you know, uh, for the viewers, the viewers would want to know that is India's tech industry uh, safe right now from these global trade imbalances or do we need some government support? So actually, we like to focus on our own technology. So I think, uh, you know, MediaTek uh, is a uh, R&D company, and essentially. So if you see last year, we spent $17.6 billion. Uh, so sorry, we had a revenue of $17.6 billion, out of which $4.1 billion were spent on R&D. So we like to focus on that aspect. And I think the geopolitical uh, uh, things uh, will take care of itself. But we want to make sure that we keep innovating and we keep uh, ahead of the curve. And how do we get the best and greatest technology for the end user? Thank you so much, Ankur, for seeing those. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.